Well, also having a wedding fit for royalty <laughs> is our producer, Ashley McGeehan. That's right. You may remember we showed you her engagement video a couple of months ago, and now she is on the hunt for the perfect dress. But will she find it? She's met with the experts who know the latest bridal trends to give her some tips. Take a look at this. Now that I'm planning a wedding, I'm realizing just how overwhelming it can be. So I enlisted the help of editor of Marry Me Tampa Bay, Anna Coates, and she's going to tell me everything I need to know for this wedding planning, specifically the main event, the dress. So Anna, what do I need to know? Well, first of all, the wedding dress is one of my favorite parts of the wedding, and that's what all of your guests look forward to. And when it comes to choosing a style, you want to pick something that really represents who you are. There's always going to be trends when it comes to wedding dresses, but you want to pick something that's really going to reflect your personality, and 10, 20, 50 years from now, you're going to look back and say, that was the right choice for me. Well, everyone who knows me knows I'm indecisive, so I need to see a lot of options, and you brought me some, right? I have brought you a ton of amazing options. It's going to make your choice really hard, though. Let's check them out. I have to say, Anna, we are starting strong here. I didn't think I would like a mermaid, but this is beautiful. This dress looks absolutely stunning on you, and this is something that happens to a lot of brides. They'll come in, and the consultant will say, hey, try this dress on, or it's not really my style. I know mermaid wasn't your thing, but I think we have definitely found a strong contender for you. I love the mesh and the appliques. Are those something that's really trending right now? Yes. Um, the mesh illusion is something that's very, very popular because you still feel covered up. You can still see that kind of hint of skin. The appliques are absolutely gorgeous, give it some texture, and the beading also gives it a little bling. I love the beading. One of my favorite parts of this dress, though, is the color of it. You have that nude underlay, which really kind of gives a different feel than a traditional white gown. So we did start strong, but we have so many more to get through, right? We have got so many amazing dresses for you today. Let's do it. So we're going a bit of a different direction with this one in the skirt. It's a little more full. Tell me about the style. Yeah, so we have transitioned you from a mermaid to an A-line dress, which is going to be a little bit more traditional. The great thing about the A-line cut is it flatters almost every body type. So I'm noticing getting in and out of these dresses that I'm not sure what to even bring to my bridal appointment. Is there anything that you should tell brides to definitely make sure you have when you're trying dresses on? To make sure that you've done your hair and your makeup. It doesn't have to be full-on magazine ready, but you want to feel good and feel very confident when you try your dress on. In terms of undergarments, make sure and wear probably a thong, nude color, and then also a strapless bra as well because you don't want anything extra showing during the appointment. And if you have um, your high heel shoes, I would bring those as well just so you can kind of get the full effect of what the dress is going to be like on. This one is gorgeous as well, but we still have more. We're not done yet. We are just getting started. Anna, this one is something totally different. I love the sleeves. So you were actually the very first person to even put this dress on. This is straight from the Badgley Musica Spring 2019 collection. So wow. This is a very, very brand new dress. How far in advance do I need to order something like this to make sure it's perfect for my wedding day? You want to order your dress about eight months out because your dress is usually made whenever you order it. And then you want to allow extra time for alterations and multiple fittings. This is gorgeous. I don't want to take this one off either. I think I'm liking too many of these, but we still have more. We still have a ton more. Okay, the bride is here in this one. We have got your traditional princess ball gown here. Are big ball gowns still trending for bridal? Every bride always wants to be that princess bride. So very much, especially when it comes to traditional church dresses, this is still going to be very much in style. You're not going to miss me in this dress. And I can't wait to show you what we have coming up next. This one has me speechless. This is so unique, and it's not even what I would typically think for a wedding dress. The thing with wearing a wedding dress is you can really wear it wherever you want. It's how you feel in it. And when you came out in this dress, you just lit up and you were so excited. And that's what you want your wedding dress to do, is to make you feel good. It's your one time to shine, right? Exactly. And this one is really making me shine. No one's sure. gonna miss you in this dress. Who should you take shopping with you when you go for this kind of thing? When you go to try on your dresses, you want to take a supportive group with you. So you want people who are going to give you feedback, but not hurt your feelings or not be too negative. You really want people who love you and want the best for you. I feel like the cake topper in this dress, I don't want to take it off, but we do have one more. One more. 
right, Ashley, this is the final dress. The what do you think? One. I'm sad. I want to wear them all. This one is beautiful, though. It's so classic, but it also feels very 2019. This dress is the best of both worlds. You do have that classic A-line fit. You have some modern details. You've got some cutouts here on the side. You have that lower cut illusion neckline as well. This is so beautiful. All of these were so beautiful. Thank you, Anna, so much for coming in to help me. You have such a hard decision. I can't wait to see what you decide. Okay, number one, you are a beautiful bride. Yes. Oh, you thank are going you. To be a Any one of those bride. would Any one have of been those. perfect. Wow. And Ashley, now we're all of them. Seriously, I mean, are you closer to a decision? No. Did no. that that must have helped though, help you kind of narrow down exactly what you like. I think I know what style I like. Okay. But then I go into a store and I say I like this style and then the consultant pulls a different dress out and I'm like, oh wait, just a <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, well, it's a process. There, it's a, it's there, gonna be. Is there one that you tried on that you favored a little bit more than the no. others? No. <laughs> Not really? Because they were all beautiful. You could have worn any one of those. And I feel like I should just wear six dresses. You yes. can. I can't decide on one. There's an idea. They're all right pretty. There. Hey, if money is no object, there you go. Hell, it is. Well, <laughs> it is. well to learn more Who about... needs to eat at the wedding? Details. Just need dresses. Right. <laughs> to learn more about these dresses, visit our website, daytimeonline.tv. And stay tuned tomorrow when we look at the right dress for when you have to attend a there wedding. There you go. All right. Well, Ashley, Good the, luck search with the search continues. Thank you. It all does. right. Daytime will be right back. Stay with us.